very challenging for us. We're all upset, of course. Um, you know, young person, first job kind of thing, you know, and, and uh, uh, it really should not happen, right? And the Red River Exhibition community is putting its support behind a 16-year-old Carnival employee who was shot while on the job. Officials say a full review will be launched to ensure that an incident like this never happens at the X again. Uh, in this situation, a paramedic was on site within about one second because they were standing adjacent to where it happened, um, followed by seven other paramedics immediately. So Garth Rogerson, CEO of the Red River Exhibition, says the victim was a 16-year-old employee at one of the event's game booths. On Monday, police said he was taken to hospital in critical condition following an altercation around 7 p.m., but was later stabilized. Rogerson was told the team was in surgery around 11 p.m. last night. Three suspects were taken into custody roughly 20 minutes after the shooting from a cab near Tyndall and Burroughs Avenue. Two 17-year-old boys and a 15-year-old girl have since been charged with aggravated assault and other offenses in relation to the shooting. Arderson stressed despite the recent incident, the event is safe with a security guard ratio of one guard to every 250 guests, but says with the population of a small city coming and going from the event, it's important to be prepared for anything. Last night we had about 10,000 people on site, so we're the size of Selkirk, Manitoba. And, you know, on the weekend, we're the size of Port Perry or Steinbeck. And so we're a small city, and that's why we have a significant number of uh, security officers as well as eight paramedics and ambulance. So we're doing all the sorts of things that a city does, uh, but we're compacting that, that audience into 120 acres. Winnipeg Police Major Crimes Unit is investigating the incident. As for longtime ex-patron Matt Heiko, who is preparing to take in the fair Tuesday, he's got questions. Well, I'm not shocked at being Winnipeg uh, this time type of thing, but considering the security that they go through, I mean, they're checking bags for alcohol and I don't know what else, but how a gun got in uh, is beyond me. Heiko feels ex-official should be reviewing the security and was glad to hear the incident is being examined closely. They should be taking it seriously considering someone's in the hospital almost died and this is a place that there's children of all ages and elderly people and we should be feeling safe here. So uh, it's just something that they have to do. Um, and it, and it better get done. It's unclear how the individuals were able to get the weapon into the fairgrounds. A security at the entrance is tight, but Rogerson says the event is working with police to find out more about how the weapon was brought inside and how they can prevent future weapons from getting in. You know, with such a large property, you know, if you really want to do something bad, you know, you might be able to get in, right? So we have to plug those holes and make sure, um, and we'll be looking at the number of offices we have, and maybe we got to expand that a little bit as well. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.